Hey, what's good everyone? This is Adnan Ray Dean and Clutch, and I want to talk about the NBA Players of the Week, Week 4 edition. And these two guys have been tearing it up this past week, and um, and rightfully so, and leading their teams to an amazing record. And I'm talking none other than De'Aaron Fox on the Sacramento Kings and Jalen Brunson on the New York Knicks, where De'Aaron Fox led the Sacramento Kings to a 4 0 record for the week, and Jalen Brunson a 3 1 record for the Knicks. Um, currently, right now, at the time of recording, the Sacramento Kings are fourth in the Western Conference, and the and New York Knicks are sixth in the Eastern Conference. And both of them have been doing amazing. As um, I'll be consistent, so I'm going to talk about De'Aaron Fox first, um, where he averaged 32.3 points per game, 4.8 rebounds a game, 6.3 assist a game and as I mentioned earlier he led the Sacramento Kings to a 4-0 record and the Kings are right now um, fourth in the Western Conference and I'm just overall really impressed with Aaron Fox of basically how much of a leader he has become and ever since this past uh, season where the Sacramento Kings were one of the top seeds in the West and uh, took the Warriors the defending champions at the time to seven games and sometimes in situations like that, you know, after a high season, um, players tend to probably shrink or not be as relevant, but De'Aaron Fox has proven them all wrong and um, he's shutting down any potential criticism or questions about is he an effective leader or is the bright, is the lights um, too bright for him? Is he gonna phase out? Um, is this a, a lucky season? No, I believe the Sacramento Kings are gonna be um, a contending team uh, for years to come. I mean, um, at least a playoff threat. Um, a championship threat um we're not there yet but um but i believe the sacramento kings are heading in the right direction and it's about time and um it's going to be led by De'Aaron fox and demonta sabonis and company and when i watch uh, De'Aaron fox um how he plays uh especially uh, watching uh um his highlight film of this past week and watching from several different games i noticed that um what he likes doing is um when he goes on the inside he likes to drive and take um take contact for layups and he does a lot um to his left understandably he is a left-handed player so he does drive a lot to his left and he bodies like um big big dudes I, i've seen like a a part where he um he actually like just bullied anthony davis for for a, a layup and uh on the inside and it freaked me out i was like wow like that guy plays with so much heart and like he plays with so much toughness, especially for his size to go up against all these bigs, you know, just taking contact and doing all these Euros and crossovers and just like bodying them and just uh, going for, for um, you know, difficult layups is really impressive. And also like um, when he shoots on the outside, what he likes doing a lot is um, he does a lot of like um, a lot of step back shots to um, for his three pointers. And I know it's a very uh, common thing. Uh, now, but I noticed that's something he he does pretty well at um, and effect and effectively he does a lot of a lot of crossovers, you know, to um to like get get through his defense to get through the defense to uh, go for um go for layups uh, while taking in a lot of contact. But um that's what uh that's something I noticed a lot like uh, in De'Aaron Fox's game is uh, that consistent pattern of driving to his left, um taking a bunch of contact even against bigs, and he he uses a lot of uh, step backs. Um, threes um, to make his uh, shot so uh, it's hey now um, whatever works and I like it I like his game it's very uh, very um, uh, interesting very intriguing and um, you know as long as it leads to wins I mean that's all that matters and uh, I'm my personally a huge fan of De'Aaron Fox and his game and um, hope he can continue to improve and hopefully this leads the Kings to uh, bigger and better things uh, for years to come now talking about the the New York Knicks with Jalen Brunson uh he averaged um, for the past week 28.5 points per game, shooting in a ridiculous 54.3% from three-point range, having a six and a half assist a game, leading the Knicks, as I mentioned earlier, to a 3-1 record. And the Knicks are six in the Eastern Conference. And what I've noticed about uh, Jalen Brunson when I watch his highlight film for the past week um, of like the past week of games uh, he's been playing, he's really good with runners on the inside. So like when he um, he's going to like... Uh, drive in he he likes to take in a lot of floaters which is a really effective in his game i know um as a heat fan uh, i watch uh tyler hero he he's known for making amazing uh floaters and just like really messes up the defense a lot you know so uh besides his three-point shot of course um so so i can understand how effective the the floaters can be and uh jalen brunson he that's a one um bag in his um in his tricks uh so he's a uh, so I think he's a uh, really effective in that aspect 
And also, like, I noticed when he shoots threes, he shoots with such such confidence and, and with ease like he it's very smooth and like like every time when i see him shoot like he just knows like the shots going in just just with his reactions and just how how he's going about it it's just um really impressive what he's doing and also like uh one thing i like a, a lot about uh jalen brunson is that you know what i love about guards um more than anything is i, I love when they do those fancy quick passes and that's exactly what Jalen Brunson does. He gives it wide open to a, whether to Emmanuel Quickly or to Julius Randle or Josh Hart. Like he just drives and just like a, you know, really quick pass, you know, to wide open dudes or either from the outside or straight up directly in the paint with nobody guarding them and make easy layups or dunks or um or the guy shooting on the outside that you get a quick, easy three point shot. And Jalen Brunson, he just has an amazing basketball IQ and amazing court vision to be able to make these uh, quick decisions and make these passes uh, very similar to what guys like uh, Chris Paul and LeBron are very known um, to doing uh, for most of their careers. So overall, I'm very impressed with those two guys. And um, I believe that, um, as long as they keep this up, I believe they're gonna, the um, they're going to shut down a lot of the haters and the national media for clowning on um, the Sacramento Kings for years for being um, a low franchise. Um, and the Knicks, they were um, once viewed as like very toxic. Nobody wants to be there, and the media was like bashing the New York Knicks every single chance to get. But but with De'Aaron Fox and Jalen Brunson respectively leading their teams um, to uh, to the playoffs and just just helping them win and turning the cultures around. I believe they're gonna put an end to um, to all this hate going on for both of these teams. So yeah, that's um, that's what I gotta say right here. Um, I'm very impressed with both of them. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Kings fans and Knicks fans, what do you guys think? Uh, do you guys um, like, like what's going on? Do you guys think it's just a flash in the pan? Do you think this can last for the rest of the season? Let me know what you guys think down below and I certainly love to hear you guys out in the comments section. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I certainly love and appreciate every single last one of you. God bless you all and talk soon.